again you weird people who keep coming back to see me play pedals 
and talk to my balls are blue about pedals. I don't know. My girlfriend thinks it's very stupid to sit in front of YouTube and look at pedals. Then again, you know? Sorry, babe. It's, we are the cool ones, not you. So, <laughs> that's debatable, actually. Again, for the third time now, th three times, third time, a Milos Popovich custom effects. I actually, I've never heard the guy talk. I don't know if that's his accent. I just imagine that's what he sounds like. Amilos Popovic, custom effects. I think that's more Italian, not Serbian. He's Serbian. He flies fighter jets. What a cool guy. And in his spare time, makes completely handmade pedals. Which, how good can they be, really? I mean, you know, he knows fighter jets. What does he know, what does he know about pedals? He knows everything. Because... His pedals are the Shiat. Okay, let me show you. This is the Germanium Ganiac. Just filmed a video about this. Holy crap, it's a an amazing distortion fuzz box um, that can do a million things for you. He makes them, them completely by hand, uh, even bends the aluminum... Uh, You've seen it in the slideshow. Everything is handmade. Um, very high-end plugs. On this, sadly, the uh, in and outputs are on the front, but on a pedal board, who really cares? This uh, this is good shit. That's all I can say, okay? And, um, and I'm very, very happy to review any pedal he makes. The, every single pedal is an unicard. A unicard? No. Is unique that's what i'm trying to say um every pedal is unique you can even work with him on the design and send him your design of your own faceplate and he's done a couple of different ones uh that i've seen especially for each customer amazing so we are looking today at his delay not a distortion or a fuss and he's tried uh, to do a delay and he kind of failed at giving it a thousand milliseconds, which is very tough with an analog delay, almost impossible to do it high end. It, it degraded too much in sound. So he decided, okay, let's go to 600 milliseconds, which is still good. I mean, that's more than you usually need for an analog delay. Oh, do I really need to explain delay types? Let's say I do, because some of you might not know. Well, a normal delay, a digital delay, the standard boss delay, is sampling digitally your sound and then playing it back so and so many seconds later. Pretty simple. Then it can play it back softer, it can play it back louder, it can play it back through several times through a feedback loop. It can give it modulation, so you got some chorusing on it, or even pitch mod modulation. An analog delay uses completely analog circuitry. Um, something about a clock, something or other in little pieces of electronics. That's the technical explanation I have for you. I have no idea how it works, but there's limitations in how many milliseconds you can have. And an analog delay will always degrade your sound quite a bit and sound dirtier, muddier, and, and like a copy, like, you know, a, a, an old photocopier will not give you 100% your original sound. Digital delay, digital delay, a digital delay can do that, an analog delay will not. Just like a tape delay records what you've played on a tape loop and then plays it back a little bit later, but of course a tape will never sound like exactly what you played in, so there's de degradation happening. Um, and usually analog delays you use for smeary sounds, um, maybe for a little bit of slapback, which is a very short delay to give you kind of a roomy, almost reverb type sound. Um, you use it a lot for soloing, where you have it in a solo to smear your solo sound and just give it fatness and wideness and some depth, um, maybe some spatial effects, but you rarely use it for the typical mirror effect of your original guitar sound because it doesn't do that okay so just for fun it's really not a fair comparison 
I'm going to s- try to compare it to the Brigadier from Strymon, which is an analog delay. It'll cost you over 300 euro. I don't even know how much the uh, completely handmade Milos Popovic is. He'll tell you if you write him on Facebook. I'm thinking 60 bucks. I'm thinking 70 bucks. Something like that. Dirt cheap. Definitely too cheap for a completely handmade pedal. So we're going to compare it with the Brigadier just to see if we can get the similar sound. Um, I'm playing with my Modern Eagle PRS Modern Eagle 2. I can have single coil and humbucker sounds, which is why I like it, <laughs> and for a million other reasons. I'm sorry, I have to mention this. Um, my lovely girlfriend, who I love a lot, who is behind the camera, um, said this is the ugliest guitar in the room because it's got stripes on it. It's like stripey. Leslie, can you film the stripes? Can you zoom in on the ugly stripes? Now, I'm not criticizing her for that. Actually, to a non-guitar player, if you didn't grow up in this world, these are just probably ugly stripes because they're uneven and stuff, and it's just ugly stripes. The fact that this top probably cost a thousand euro extra... And most of us would just drool and, you know, try try to, like, go to bed with it. No, it's just an ugly strap guitar. Different points of view. You doo-doo head. Okay. Doo-doo head, you can zoom out now. Um, this is going into uh, the, uh, you can film over here. The Ganiac, the standard Ganiac, not the Germanium. And that's going into the deeper blue delay. Which is going into move over here, the Sir Badger 18, and in the effects loop, well, no, actually that that's not true. The deeper blue is going into the Strymon Brigadier, so that we have it also in front of the amp, so that it's a fair comparison. Brigadier is going into the Sir. In the effects loop, we got the uh, uh, Strymon Big Sky, but we're not gonna use that. Um, Going into a 112 speaker, let's get warehouse speaker with a veteran 30 in it. Um, that's a uh, SM57 miking it. And a very inexpensive tube mic from Tormann called the SCT2000. It's 199 euro, crazy cheap. Just throw that in front of there and it's it just together it sounds really, really amazing. And I'm also talking into a T-bone mic from Toman called the RetroTube 2. Um, it, both mics, they come with an amazing shock mount and power supply and a big ass hard case. Amazing value. This one's 222 bucks. Um, both going into their power supplies and their multi pattern. You can actually pick the uh, the pickup pattern, the polarity pattern. Um, and that's going into the Universal Audio 4710D. Going through light pipe into the Fireface at, 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 uh, at Fireface 800 into Cubase 7.5. So, and that's it. Ah, it's not it. I'm sorry I gotta say this every single time, but you've probably heard it before. If you want to buy these mics or anything that you might find in the links below at Toman, please be kind and use my links because I get some shit. I get points from them, like, you know, re- rewards points and then... I can buy a pack of strings in two years or something like that. So, here's my clean sound. Front, no, actually, both pickups in the middle, single coil. We'll just leave this, it's nice. I'm gonna go to the last setting I had on this delay, which was huge. Let's see. What we got is delay time, mix, end. Does it say repeat? Yes. Kind of a bubbly thing in the background, makes it hard to read, but you can, of course, design your own. And how cute is that? I didn't get that in the beginning. Input shows a guitar player, output shows an amp. That's cute. You can probably hear some knistern in German, some buzzing like a high, like a static. You can probably hear static. That is a typical side effect of an analog circuit. 
You know, it introduces noise. But that's part of the charm, okay? If we want a digital, we buy a digital. I can't say digital without sounding drunk. Digital. I bought this delay and it's awesome. It makes ping, ping. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even drink. So let's overdo it and actually crank up the repeat a little bit more. Let's see if we can get feedback happening. Okay, I'm having fun. Sorry. <clears throat> you can do beautifully degraded ambient stuff if you wanted to. Actually, I'm sorry. One more time. Lots of mix, long delay, a lot of repeats, and you do like a fade effect. Of course, you have to have the delay on for that. It helps.
And the fact of the matter is, yes, there's his, and there, yes, there's limitations of the analogicity of it, the analogness. Um, Analogescitude, that's the word. Um, but it just, it's, it's got something unpredictable, something beautifully alive that, um, that just feels right. It sounded like a cheesy, like, love romantic comedy. It just feels right, baby. But it does. It really does. Um, so let's go to more standard delay effects. the intro is the typical dotted eighth effect so let's see if we can get this you need a lot of mix so you gotta set that to dotted eighth then get a feel of where the quarter notes are and then play eighth notes will be in between your eighth notes. And so on and so on. So that's really nice. It sounds better with a digital delay because the notes in between will sound exactly like your notes. So it'll actually sound like you're playing 16th. Um, let's see if we can get a slapback happening here. Sounds like a room, doesn't it? That's the slapback. If I knew how to play surf guitar, I would, but I don't. I just know they do something like that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even surf. So that's neat. How short can it go? If we go really short, but with a lot of repeats. Sounds like a resonant room. Kind of like in a, you're in a metal pipe, like a metal tube. Yeah, all not really things you probably want from an analog delay. Let's see. Let's go maximum delay time. That's about 600 milliseconds according to Milos. This 
is where you don't really hear the bang, 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 the mirroring kind of delay thing. This is where you would use it as a solo delay. And we're going to engage the Ganiac for that. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm not gonna show a single thing more. If you don't go and buy this combination, you freaking idiot. If something out of metal made by some pilot from Serbia can take you away like it literally just did me, and you give him, I don't know, 150 bucks for it. It's crazy. You spent more money on drugs, probably in the last week, to give you something that wasn't even remotely as trippy as what I just experienced. Okay? So, uh, I said I'm gonna compare it with the Brigadier. No, fuck that. Love Strymon. But the Brigadier will not be able to do what I just experienced. So, uh, that's all I gotta say. 